typical passenger profiles, that is Tech, Natalia and Sean, and these are based on lifestyles that we recognize globally, that is classic, natural, local and inspirational. To show how we approach our products and service development, each of our passengers go on a journey with us and we show all of our products and services along these journeys. So what they do pre-flight, in-flight and post-flight. So we really show the integrated approach from the LSG group with all of our different brands coming together with their capabilities to create a unique passenger experience. How can the LSG group assist airlines to fulfill the needs of a passenger like Tech, a premium passenger, by actually working hand in hand together with the airline, identifying what the brand values of the airline are, what's the degree of luxury and premiumness they would like to achieve, and customize a solution that fits both the onboard requirements of the airline space-wise, the brand values, the consumer needs at the end come up with something that's very, very customized and completely tailor-made for each airline. Tech represents a high-end lifestyle and travel, travel style, so he's looking for a trust, tradition and uh, reliability in his value. He's a consultant uh, living in Korea, Seoul, working for a global company in, and travels on a business or first class as a frequent flyer. He's still fashionable, elegant, but he's looking for something elastic in his uh, value, uh, which, is, uh, which adds a little touch of class into his journey. For Tech, it's all about personalization at this very specific moment of his journey. He enters the lounge, the concierge at the entrance takes down his needs. Today, Tech, he's flying to Los Angeles. He has a long journey ahead of him. It's a night flight. However, he has a very important presentation when he lands. He's immediately given a very nice amenity kit. The concierge asks him whether he has any needs for gifts, and she brings all the gifts and duty free for his business partners afterwards to the lounge tailor-made just for him. He proceeds straight away afterwards for dinner and the lounge proposes something quite innovative. It's a concept that incorporates music, storytelling, food, provenance, terroir, all in one. So on that particular flight he just had his meal and the cabin crew has already interviewed him and asked him what he would like to do later. The cabin crew knows that he's going to start writing a report straight after. So the next thing is to perfume some shibori, some hot towels with a scent that revives him straight after the meal so he's able to work and continue with his work. The scents are available in the toilets, in the hot uh, towels, in the shibori, but also in the premium amenity kits that are provided just for him. Tech is currently working on board and he has already created his own little nest. It's his comfort zone. He wants some little comforts like space to have his green tea, a little uh, cake, something to keep him going for energy, plenty of space to start working, space for his uh, iPad, and he's not going to spend lots of time working because he needs to rest. It's a long flight to Los Angeles from Korea. The airline has provided everything he needs to have for a good night's rest, starting from extremely good quality of linen, thick duvet from Egyptian cotton, uh, an array of amenity kits, most importantly, very good quality sleepers, and of course, pyjamas from breathable cotton for a very restful evening. Finally, the flight has landed and it's the end of the journey for Tech, but still he has needs. In the arrivals lounge, he has the chance to freshen up. He takes a shower straight away. He has breakfast because he wants to maximize his time on board. He has his clothes ironed and pressed within minutes and he can use lots of the amenities available there. He can put his thoughts together and he's ready to go for his business meeting in Los Angeles.